Hi there, my name is Cunningberg and welcome to my channel. This is a game review of Days Under Custody, an indie adventure horror game. The developer is Abraham Cariola, I think that's how you spell it, say it, C-A-R-R-E-O-L-A. -E the publisher is Groupies Interactive, it came out in 2015, it's got mostly negative reviews and it's currently for £4 on Steam. <clears throat> Uh, the single player Steam achievements and trading cards, it's for English and Spanish and for Windows XP or above. Now I played it on 10 and it was fine. Days Under Custody is a title made as a classic horror adventure game where a dramatic story, unique puzzles and an enemy stalking you all the time will test and keep, your tense, keep you tense to discover the history behind a lot of inexplicable events. Now I have played the full game and it is short. I think mine was about under two hours to complete it, I think, give or take. Um, it is a pixel game, it isn't everything, but uh, it, it is a very pixely kind of game. I mean, you're walking up staircases and stuff like that and you you, you see what I mean, you know. Um, and, and the way it's designed, but it, I can see the negative reviews. But I actually thought this wasn't that bad. I hate saying the word not that bad. It's actually okay. I think I should start saying. <laughs> I keep saying not that bad, which is obviously the opposite. Um, you start off and you're in this room, in your in your bedroom, I think it is, and you're trying to get out. And you've got these doors. Not all the doors seem to work. And uh, you can't figure it out at first. You're trying to figure out what's going on, how you actually move. Um, and then you learn that there's notes to pick up and you think they're just achievements but they're not that's actually part of the story so i picked up some notes and i played most of the game without actually realizing you could actually view the notes because i looked in the like little notepad as it were when you bring it up and it's uh, note one note two note three and i was like or a b and c or some weird things like that i can't remember and I was just like, oh, great, yeah, I've got another note, I've got another note. And then I was trying to figure out one puzzle. I was like, what the hell? Um, and I thought, oh, it's on the side of the wall, because it's a number. Uh, no, it's not, it's the notes. You've got to actually open them up. <laughs> and I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, right, OK, you've got to open the notepads. <clears throat> um, not every door works, not every door works. Uh, the person who's stalking you is a person, I think it is. And he just sort of appears, and the only way you can escape him is to hide in a wardrobe. You can't hide by going down the staircase or running away. Just be somewhere near a wardrobe. The save options are the um, the telephone, believe it or not. That's how you save the game. Um, very interesting way of doing it. And luckily it tells you at the beginning, otherwise you had no idea. Um, and it's com uh, not confusing, annoying sometimes when you're doing well and all of a sudden you just die because of, of that. Now, I did get to the end and I did like the ending. Um, I would say it's a good game. Take the most of the negative with a pinch of salt. Some people hate games, some people love games. If we all loved the same games, it'd be a depressing world out there. And the same if we all hated the same games, it'd be depressing. There's always somebody that can create a game and somebody doesn't like it because it doesn't do this and it's not like that and I used to play by so and so and it's not like them and it's a bit crappy and it's one guy by the sounds of it, Abraham. It's just one developer. It's not a group, it's not a, a company, it's just one person. So can I create a game? No. Can you? Probably not. So, well, maybe, maybe some people can, but well, they must do otherwise they won't be able to produce it. Anyway. The thing is, if you can't produce a game, don't start moaning about a game. Unless it's really, really poor. And I've played some. God, have mercy have I played some games that are really, really poor. Um, so yeah, I would say, if you like adventure games, uh, pixel kind of games, and a bit of a storyline that you're kind of a bit confused with, but it actually makes sense as you go along, then you'll enjoy this, I think. And, well, it's it's not cheap. It's £4. You might be able to get it when it goes in the sale, uh, which is must be where I got it from, because I don't think I'd have paid £4 for this. <clears throat> anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed watching this game review, uh, Days Under cust uh, Custody. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you want to, or give me the old thumbs up. Uh, write in the comments in the comments box below. Have you played this game? Did you complete it? Did you enjoy it? Did you um, Did you have issues or anything like that? Okay, well, thank you for watching and goodbye.